800 years after Boadicea rebelled against the Romans, Britain is savaged by repeated Viking attacks. Alfred, King of Wessex, has been paying tribute to stave off the raiders. But in 878, the Vikings prepare for conquest. After a defeat, Alfred retreats to rebuild his forces and drive the Vikings away. Alfred suffers a stinging defeat when the Vikings attack Ethandon. The Norsemen loot the town, and Alfred is driven back to his stronghold at Carlisle. Alfred must rebuild his forces and attempt to retake Ethandon. The Vikings now control Ethandon. Before we can rally the nation, we must retake that city. Our first goal is to scout the Viking position and find a route for our attack. We need to keep watch on the Viking preparations and defenses. A lookout is needed as close to the Vikings as possible. This is a good spot for the lookout, close enough to see what's happening, but not so close that they'll notice it and attack. Now we'll learn how to construct new buildings. So the actions a selected citizen can perform are found in the lower left panel. Click the Build Military button to access a menu of building choices. Select the highlighted Build Lookout button. Select a location for your lookout by click Good. Now your citizen will move to that site and begin construction. At the beginning of construction, a progress bar appears showing how long it will take to complete the building. We can see what's going on near the Viking position. It's time to build an army. To retake Athandon, we'll need troops, so we must build a barracks. The more citizens working on a building, the faster it will be completed, so let's order several citizens to build a barracks. First, select your citizens using a drum. When you give an order to a group, everyone in the group will perform that order. Now select the Build Barracks button, then left-click to place the barracks near the target marker. Success! Now you have a barracks where you can start mustering troops. Select your barracks. Good. With the barracks selected, a menu of units appears in the bottom left corner of the screen. For now, we're interested in the first button, Create Javelinier. Click the Create Javelinier button. Good. You have ordered the barracks to create one Javelinier unit. The progress bar in the bottom right of the screen shows how long it will take to complete the Javelineers. Notice that the Javelinier unit is made up of three individuals. All of your foot units consist of three figures. We have a barracks to train foot units. Now we need to construct a siege factory to build catapults for the attack. Select your citizens. Now select Build Military in the lower left, then Build Siege Factory. Choose a location near your city you think will be good to place. Excellent. Your citizens are now constructing a siege factory where you can build weapons that heavily damage buildings. Success! Now let's build some siege units. For good! Now click the catapult button. While we wait for the first catapult, we can click the catapult button again to add another catapult to the queue. Good! Now the second catapult will be built after the first one is completed. Catapult construction takes some time, so let's build some more foot units while we wait. Select your barracks. Good. To create a force large enough for the attack, we need to build two more javelineers, two phalanxes, and three long bowmen at the barracks. Now you've rallied a great English army. Let's start planning our attack to retake Athandon. We're going to need to look at Athandon again. Instead of scrolling over there, let's learn to use the mini-map to change our view around the world. The mini-map is at the bottom. Good. We can use the mini-map to quickly scout out areas before we attack. If you look at the mini-map, your troops are shown on the left in red, and the Vikings are on the right in blue. Good. We can use the mini-map to quickly scout out areas before we attack. Now click on the mini-map near Carlisle. Good. We've learned how to change our view of the world quickly by using the mini-map. Now let's get our army ready to attack. Move your troops to attack by right-clicking your Thandon. You can also select a destination using the mini-map.
You've defeated all the Viking troops. Now select your units and right-click at Fandon to retake the city. You've defeated the Vikings and recaptured Athandon. Excellent work.